I'm getting a little bit. There was a must catch, whatever little painting was beginning, was starting. Uh, hello everyone, here we go again. It's been a day or two, hasn't it? Now let's see. Um, yeah, we'll have another dark sky. Well, I'll pull the brushes. Straight on, uh, we'll have a, a cloud there uh, on this side here. Perhaps we could have it on this side while we've got these and we can put some shiny patches. Well, although we can have shiny patches on there, can't we? And there. Uh, the proud cloud across here. We could have a like a grey blue sky, couldn't we? So you could take some grey, paint grey, like that. And you could take some blue, couldn't you? So, uh, uh, this is the first time I've touched them for a week or two, these paints. I'll have to fill them. Um, I said grey and blue, didn't I? 
Yeah. Um, oh, I suppose that. We bring the, bring this around here quickly. And screw it that up, up there so it won't have a line. We won't have a line. Across the sky where we put our dark part. Uh, where are we up what are we doing? Where are we here? And that, that. Uh, and then we bring our bit of our grey in. No, don't we? We can put put those our grey. We can put some sand, a burnt sand, that's just brown sea. And we can bring that in here. Touch a bit more blue pack in. Uh, we could have a little bit of, of, of this coming across, couldn't we? We'll just dry that off now before it starts falling. Put some ground in here, uh, but we'll, have to, we'll keep it light. No, it has to be very light. So, what you can do is use like burnt umber sometimes, which has got that red loop with it. Red loop, sorry. I just want clean that, clean the rock, then I can have a, a press start. Always in a hurry, aren't we, see? Never time to clean it off. Working to a time limit every time. Now I said a yellow colour there. So I'm going to try some that, but we want it looking a lot warmer than that, don't we? Let's see if light red will warm it up. Now that's warm, but burnt umber would be better, only, although it's darker, by putting it on lighter, it, it'll be, I mean wetter, it'll be lighter. Okay, so now I can... I'll get a smaller brush now. Uh, what else? What a, uh, this'll do. And will you, I'll, 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 I should have been, I'll say that it's coming from this side, and we've got that light up there. And then we've coming from that. That'll be lit up with there. Uh, maybe our chimney lit up partly warm, like that. A pull over, coming just over from that chimney. But we'll do that, and then we'll make it darker on top. No. I know I'll try and imitate other painters as well, you know. And what they do. Now, if we had some uh, 
masking fluid you could put your your, your what's names in now your branches couldn't you I do these patches so now we, we have to have some greeny colour but what they used to do is is use a green we'll pick this green up now this green has to be like a, can you see it's, there's your green there's your blue now any blue let's think which blue shall we try well we've plenty of uh, ultramarine on this so I'll use that now that's about that's not too bad now if you put see you're coming across there with a the path there you put this here and over there perhaps one in the distance over there and there I can't see where I am here now that's all right even that would probably be sufficient for a light, the light part really So we'll have what we'll have some light part across. You see, imagine you're using oil paint. You know, you can go over these parts and make them a bit better. You know. So now what well, we've, we've done that. But what I intend, if I can, is to get that orangey patches in, which Mr. Seagull has. Of course, you don't get it. Of course, most of the two girls in the world are going in Ireland. And there's lots of colours. You can't get the world in Ireland. They've so blurred some of them. Stick down, will you, please? Okay, okay, everybody. Um, now, one thing we we need to have, in, in which we you that, is a nearly black tree. Okay, so that's the darkest brown we have, which is. Uh, I always to remember that name. I think of crystals, because when I was a lad and I used to. Uh, mixed paint. I used to go for Van Dyke crystals. Now Van Dyke crystals, which they used to sell, all sellers. This is was years ago. Uh, it, it it watered down into a, a lovely Van Dyke brown. That was for like oak staining and that on indoors and on, on wood, and doing the what they call graining, which I used to do on that. You know. Even though I could come on here and show grain in there. Uh, it would be nice for, for people to see it, how it used to be done, and marbling as well, you know. Okay, so I'll start with this very back. I think I'll put some yellow in that, very, very dark. Now that is dark brown uh, Van Dyke crystals, Van Dyke. I have to think of crystals to remember it, you see, as a lad when I used to go and pick it up and that. I used to get it in a bag. You buy a, a, a you know, a cardboard, uh, cardboard bag like full of uh, crystals. Or get uh, some, you get a paper, a, a grease proof paper with a big lump of, uh, um, car, uh, not, uh, Yellow ochre, big solid, solid lump, stiff. Use a travel pot, get it out. And then you mix that, it was solid like a paste. You mix that with your whites or anything to get your creams. And you'd mix that for making your undercoats and that. What was I doing? I should have my glasses on, really. Uh, where am I? Oh, I said I'd do that. Oh, no, I should have. Went, went, wash my brush before I put anything in it like yellow. You shouldn't 
you should wash your brush before you use your yellow into a very dark thing like this. Now I see, what I'm going to do is just put it sideways on like that. Right. It's going to be hard for me to get to say go around some branches like that. We we'll see, I'll try. Now I must have some coming right over like that. I'm falling down over there. There's, if you can get, can you see? I'm trying to get that to all the trunk of the tree there. Eh? See what you're trying to do here is do two things. Make the trunk of the tree while you're doing the outside leaves as well. So that's what it looks like now. So that's not so bad. There's a contrast between that you see and the background. You know, right at the back. Now I put I may put another little one here. No. It, it was it is even darker than this what uh, Mr Edward would do but not in his not in his watercolors no his watercolors a lot some of them were were done very misty very misty and also like very hot misty colour like a warm colour now that was like in these Arabia where he used to travel in them places you know sometimes I wonder if it might be easier instead of having it a palette like this when you're painting but like these uh, Top artists, what you know, these uh, who have these big studios, they have like big, uh, like they look like a tray, empty tray. Uh, what you bake with, what, what baking them little cakes, you know, them little round pan things, and you fill them with uh, so you know, then what color you mixed it in this round thing, like little cups. And when you when you put this on, you get the right color, you see. But from this, it's on the see what happens here. This is starting to go dry all around the sides. Can you see? And what happens is you're picking up that now is darker than the original on that one. I had to go back, you see, because that's drying now, you know. But you, can, you can't afford to just fill, make a great big pile of it that deep using all that. Well, they can when they've got money, you know what I mean. The money people can. These are these, these great big beautiful studios. I don't think it would make any difference if I had uh, to my painting. I don't think it does any difference to you. This is a difficult process, isn't it, to, to do, really, when you look at it. I love a challenge. I, I don't like doing ordinary painting, but I, I love everything what comes into it. Because that's what I've always done all my life. Now, I'll, I'll warm these up at that you with me?
I say, I can't teach to save my life. But what I can do it like this and you can watch me. And learn from watching me. But that's not teaching, is it? When, when you know, if you went to, to watch an artist and he was painting and he wasn't telling you the colours and everything, well, it's not teaching, is it? And I'm a poor teacher, I'm telling I'll, I'll never tell you really everything. I, I can't. Well, to be honest, I can't keep everything in my mind. Well, I'm not doing so bad for my age. A lot of people at my age are getting very dull pics, aren't they? Going very, very dull. No, I mean, I learned that my old... My, my missus is now in the an old folks home, it's really a nice place, very lovely old folks home, and they have all sorts there, but it's it's a little bit a mind, if you know, I can't tell you exactly, but it's a mind what's troubling us, um, but um, there's all sorts there for people to really enjoy it, lovely. I mean, they're not like they used to be when I used to work on them as a painter and that again, you know. And they're, they're, they're a lot better now. They do take very good care of people. You would put like this in the foreground because you know yourselves that your foreground is one of the main things and you can make it look silly or not, can't you, you know. But uh, once when that girl used to come in when I was at this art uh, group, and she, she couldn't do the foreground. And when I did my foreground, she said, oh, ooh. Oh, you can do foregrounds. <laughs> I says, well, I don't know how. I, I just, I just put marks on, but grasses on that anywhere I can. Yeah, but they look so realistic. She said. Now, the next thing, I'm going to have to make some, some more dark, because it really needs some more dark coming over this foreground here. So it's a greeny colour again, but you try your best, but you can't always get what you want with a bit even that. Can you see that green? What do you think? See, because I do want to shadow it. Because it would have a shadow that cloud, wouldn't it? Eh? So I put a shadow there, shall we? Go across the road as well. I'll just see it. Now, I'll have to.
to try and get these roofs now. Pretty uh, like a, a burnt sienna, browny colour. Here, here, let's see what. Well, I don't want it too dark. No, the light's coming from over here, it's casting that shadow on there, that's why I put that there. But I put a bit of black there, I don't want to disturb this here too much. No, you know that. I don't want to disturb that white bit. So I'll leave it in that like that now. This here is bound to be dark there. So if we get some burnt sienna, we get some birds here. Look how dark that is. Now, don't be frightened of dark. Put a bit more dark in it. No, because if you want and you put plenty of water to that, you don't need to have it as dark as that on that side. Because this is coming this way. This is your dark side here. Like that. Oh, looking at it again, this is the dark side as well there. Now can you see how things are standing out more now? Right. Now we'll have the side of that chimney dark there. On just here, under the dark. And uh, let's see that there. We'll have it dark, on that side dark. Now, we'll put some, some more dark there, as shadowy, on the, off that big tree. Like that. And off that. A little bit more down there. Now, there we are for now. That one's been a little bit over here, don't it? There. So there's that. Now we'll line it out a little bit after. Right, now just let that dry. Now this here, this front, which is catching the light, we'll use a little bit of raw sienna. And I've told it before, Yellow ochre. It's all the same to me you now. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any different. And there it is. How light it is. Now that's very light. Now just here. Again. On there. I really. If it would have been a bit lighter there, which we can easily do by doing that. I'm doing that. And almost get it perfect. Now you have to imagine you there. So we've got that up to the now right. Now with the lining brush we can sort that all out. So I'll just have a little drink of tea and then we might carry on. Right. Do you know what? I don't feel as bad tonight as I've been feeling terrible all week. Do you know what? I've been drinking uh, uh, apple juice. Uh, pure apple juice. And it, it seems to be doing me a bit, a bit of good, I don't know. But my head's a bit clearer than it has been. So, apple juice you might try, I like, like it. Right. Now then, lining brush, isn't it? I'm dry, drying it. Just 
just let me. I'll just get my glasses on. Be sec. Oh. Right, uh, I've got my glasses down, we might get a bit farther on. Okay, let's see. Stick down there, please. You see, when you're blowing off to her on it, it brings it off again, doesn't it? Right now. Uh, let me get this now. Me all the time. I'll tell you what. All this, these draw, this. Uh, pencil marks. Now, if I had a big. Now, this paper was 18. This is only a 9 by 7, you know. 9 by 7 and a half, this paper. It seems to have changed to this uh, solder's paper. It looks like it's printed out now with a, a patterned machine roller. And it's not quite as uh, the same. Like everything else. See what we can cut off and make it so we'll make more money. What can we do? Shall we make the bottom bigger underneath? Shall we, t shall we make it narrower on a, on a lighter jar? Yeah, let's do that, eh? They'll never know. On that pie, let's not put as much meat in it. Eh? That's a good idea, isn't it? Give that, eh? Hey, give him a rise. Eh? Well, I'm... Eh, ah, cut, cut the workers. They're only parasites. <laughs> That's what they think. The parasites, he says. Yeah, but what about the families? Oh, F the families. F the families. They're only parasites. <laughs> That's what they say about us. I am sailing stormy waters to be near you, to be free. I am sailing, I am flying like a bird by the sky above the clouds. I am flying. Forever crying to be near you, to be free. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Above the dark clouds, far away. Can you hear me? I am calling. To be near you, to be free, I am sailing, I am sailing, homeward bound across the sea, I'm sailing, forever sailing. To be with you, to 
to be afraid. Can you hear me? I am calling through the dark skies up above. Can you hear me? Lord, I'm calling to be with you. To be afraid. Love a lady. Love a lady. Clouds up above. Can you hear me? I am calling to believe, to be free. Thanks for looking in. Good night and God bless. See you all next time. Mom used to call me. I will have them. That's that's wrong. They were going up like that. I think. Was... See, it's cutting round. It's not. It, no, it, try a bit of that uh, masking fluid.
didn't know I had to turn the light on. I think she's changed her car again. I think her ashtrays must have been pulled. <laughs> 